I mean, I drank as much as I could and took as many drugs as I could for eight years to try to be as weird and creative as I could and to really push it to the limit and uh, I mean that didn't work because I was just gonna die. I mean I have crazy or, or original ideas or weird feelings whether I like it or not and they just naturally come out without trying. This is Stephen Kramer. He's a musician, composer, painter, and above all, a performer. His audience knows him as an eccentric showman who sings everything from disco to Don Ho, and they are attracted by his singular style. I mean, I did a lot of things that people would think, could only think of or dreaming of doing themselves, and I think that's why a lot of people are drawn to me because I really did dare to do it. Someone found the letter that you wrote me on the radio. They never said the name, but I knew just who they meant. Oh. While Kramer puts on a flashy performance, there's more to his music than showmanship. When it's good, there's a real sense that something's going on something kind of unknown and scary and different. It's like, a, you know, visiting a new, new country or something. I mean, you always wonder if you're doing anything really good or if it's just another band. I mean, sometimes it just sounds like a bunch of noise with a really good beat. It's hard to, to get away from, to stand back and be objective about anything you're so close to, like yourself. A recent recovery from drug and alcohol problems has enabled Kramer to look at himself and his work in a new know, light, so and has even inspired new directions to his music. A few months ago, he performed some of his latest compositions at the Walker Art Center. I started not, I started becoming more aware of my influences and not being so nervous about them and, and uh, liking that I had been influenced and wasn't so concerned with creating something so totally original or not, not thinking about the originality so much. It was sort of just like breathing and realizing that that's where, where I was and being really comfortable with it. And yet in, in not even trying to be original, it came across as really Stephen Kramer. I mean, I, I couldn't get away from that. The Stephen Kramer picture isn't complete without seeing his artwork. For the last 10 years, Kramer has been drawing and painting mice, and only mice. Yeah. 
I sort of feel like a 1950s scientist, philosopher, anthropologist. And I'm not sure why mice and don't know if I'll ever find out. Or it's probably not even important. You just pick something and work with it. And this happened to stick for 10 years. This is what I'm interested in right now. It's a really uh, strong, simple image. Happy but a little bit confused, kind of like me.